Did you ever make a video and realize two minutes into it that you had your mic muted or you didn't start recording? Because that just happened to me. But here we go again. Here we are. It's Alien Machine AI with a video about poses. I had this idea while I was working on a huge workflow where I was using poses and extracting pose data from images and it can use that pose data and stable diffusion models can use that pose data with uh, control nets and such T2I adapters for pose as, as opposed to canny or depth etc you can extract this pose data from images and instead of passing it directly to the model or whatever you're working with, you can save it using a save module. I had this idea because I was using a preview node and see, could see the preview data. It was interesting to see how it could pick up the elements of the pose and accurately give you images that were similar but different enough that you were creating new images but just with, with the pose that you wanted. So I had the idea to harvest the best poses I could get. I went and made a prompt and I have good poses here. Uh, these are the like modern modern uh, ones. Here's my Gundam Snow Day limited color palette, orange, uh, purple, blue, like cyan of uh, theme work that we're going to use these good poses, extract the poses, and then and then you can p put whoever you want after the fact because we're go only extracting the pose. The, the stable diffusion technologies are going to make the rest of it. So we're just harvesting these poses and I'm going to show you how to build the Comfy UI workflow to extract the poses and save them yourself so you can do it with your own poses. I may release the poses if possible that I harvest right now in, in the next period of time because I've already gotten all of these poses. I had these ones, I was just making it and I, I realized, oh, these poses are so good, I could harvest these poses. So then I went and found ballet images and have all these exquisite, you know, great uh, artists, dancers, and, and they're, they're just exquisite poses. Now imagine if you got a guy in a robot suit that's manly and you're making this manly person do all these ballet poses. Now that might be an interesting application for our stable diffusion technologies and I thought that it's gonna be interesting to find out what happens. So in a minute we're gonna uh, make the workflow. Okay, I have Comfy UI pulled up here. It's a brand new blank workflow. We're going to save it as Pose Extractor Alien Machine AI. Now, it's always a little difficult at first, especially to know how to build your own workflow from scratch. You need to just take it one step at a time, look at the node connections on each side and it'll tell you what input and what output it takes. And then you can look at what's inside of it, see the variables and settings and mess with the settings and run the workflow again and again and again until it runs successfully and then optimize from there and expand. Now we have these uh, pose extractor node DW Pose Estimator, and I found this while working with um, T2I adapters and such, control nets, IP adapters and all of that. I was getting into a huge workflow and figured out I might try doing this. So we have the image input, gives an image output, so you can, that, that will be the pose 
data. So it'll be a very simple workflow. We can use so we have DW pose estimator here. We want to change the resolution because we're using SDXL to 1024. One um, megapixel of data worth of pixels. This is all uh, left to the default as far as I know. Detect hand, body, face, enable. You can um, change that later if you want to mess with it and experiment. Now we have the load image node. I chose this pose. The limbs will be visible mostly and I want to see what happens if I can recreate this motion in this falling kind of pose uh, with other figures and, and uh, characters and such. So we're going to connect the DW pose estimator and the load image node. I like to use lots of reroutes the first time because when you want to go back later and reroute everything to be clean after everything's running it's a huge pain to rewire it and if, if you do it at the first time right then it's, it's a lot better later I found. So DW pose estimator um, this is going to be a very simple workflow this pose estimator extracts the pose data using um, the B box detector pose estimator and you can turn off the hand body face and you, you want to have the resolution set to 1024 not the default 512 to go align with the SDXL um, requirements and the uh, requirements of the rest of your workflows and um, according to the resolution of your input images I'm using uh, input images of that resolution if you're using a different resolution you probably want to use that resolution accordingly you might use 512 if it's a different model you might use something larger perhaps and we're going to take image and give it a preview image. Expand it. And let's see if it runs. Ah, there we go. Perfect. First try. Now, that looks like a good pose. You can see the face is detailed, the hands, the fingers, all the arms. It's in, they're all in different colors slightly and such automatically so that the, all the limbs you can see are easily detected later by the model. You can see these dots here on the uh, joints to indicate that. They're different colored slightly and, and they're accentuated balls and you can just see that this is a, um, a great automatically detected pose data and what I'm going to do is use save I have to find my favorite save node I like a WAS suite image save I don't like to embed the workflow unless I want to, so I turn this off. Right. I'm just checking the settings for image save real quick. Okay, we're going to change this to pose da pose that the for the file name prefix. The output path is the date. And this should save 
our um, pose data for us. 